that's what I'm in the game for. I'm, I'm here to to win, win titles, and uh, to make money. And when you turn professional, it's all about controlling the place, controlling the fight. I told my dad that I was training there. He was shocked, and then he said if I was going to do it, um, that he was going to train me, and there was no mess about, and that's that's what happened. Jay, good morning. First of all, thank you for taking this uh, interview. Tell us, how have you been these days of quarantine in this pandemic? Uh, yeah, it's been okay. Um, a bit boring, if, if I'm honest. But um, it's the same as everybody else. I, I managed to get some road work in. I'm lucky enough to have a gym that I can go to. Um, but at the minute, my girlfriend is pregnant. So we're just preparing everything for... For the, when the baby arrives, really, we're just doing a lot of decorating, so it's keeping me very busy. Congratulations for your baby, uh, Jay. And uh, in these days, you can train in your house uh, the long time you do in the past, or you do and a half trainment. Uh, I got a gym to go to. I have um, uh, lucky enough. I have one of the local gyms. They open up for me. And I'll just go in there with my dad and uh, do do what I gotta do. I have I do about ten rounds, mix in with like bags, pads, uh, but just there's no sparring, so that that's pretty much it. Uh, tell us, Jay, how did you get to boxing? I I got through boxing through a friend of mine uh, years ago. Um, he pretty much um, he went. Well, we were out playing together, for, and um, every time about 5 p.m. over here, he would go to the boxing gym. So one day I followed him, and uh, yeah, the, the rest is history. Then and I, I stayed stay there ever since. I told my dad I was training there. He was shocked, and then he said if I was going to do it, um, that he was going to train me, and there was no mess about, and that's that's what happened. So since I was 12 years old until now, my dad has been my trainer. It's spectacular, Jay. Um, according to BoxRec, you had only one fight in amateur career or amateur boxing. How did you get to professionalism? Uh, I didn't have one fight. I had 36 fights as an amateur. Um, yeah, and I won 31. Oh, wow. I won numerous Welsh titles. Uh, I won a British title. Represented Wales a couple of times. Um, so yeah, I had a pretty good, decent career as an amateur, and then I turned professional in around 22, um, and then I, I've been professional for about eight years now. And I, well, my manager's Gary Lockett, and at, at, the, at this time MTK promote me, so I got a good team around me at the minute. Uh, for you, what is the difference in an amateur boxing and the professionalist boxing? Uh, when I was boxing, um, there was a massive difference because because of the point scoring. So um, it, it was more like people used to uh, they used to like dance around the ring a lot more, pick point and the like, point scoring, point scoring, point scoring. But as um, when you turn professional, it's all about controlling the place, controlling the fight. Uh, it's a lot slower than the, the amateur because you've only have got like three rounds in you an amateur just to get as many points as you possibly can. So it's, it's quite frantic. But um, the professional game suited me a lot better than the amateur uh, amateur game. If I'm if I'm honest. Jay, in the professionalism, you have folk practical practically in four divisions: fly, super fly, bantam, ban super bantam. But now you are a, a fly flyweight. Um, how do you feel in this uh, weight? Uh, in the, the the bantam, super bantams, and, and that, um, I I pretty much fought journeyman if if I'm honest. Um, it was just as I was coming through at, at the start of my career. Um, I always knew when I was an amateur, I was always boxing a super fly, and if I'm honest, I, I didn't really think I would get down to fly, but. Um, with a little coaxing of my manager, Guy Lockett, uh, he, he um, enticed me, he said, look, you're a fight all, all day long. And um, when I was sometimes waiting for fights, I'd be um, 
I'd weigh in on the day sometimes at like eight stone three on the day and I'd fight the same way. And he said, look, you're, you're a flyweight and um, you get your first title shot and if it's the day before weighing, you get down to fly. And um, with the Commonwealth title then, I, I had the day before weighing and I, I made fly comfortably and I, I can't see me ever moving from flyweight at the moment. I, I made the weight pretty comfortably. I make, I make it good as well. Now, uh, what... I will tell you something. You were an uh, English, um, Europe, European uh, debut title. You are the champion yeah. in last time. What did you mean to you that title? Oh, it's it's just, it's a it's a massive title. It's it's quite prestig prestigious as well. Um, and it it, it get as as it gets you up the rankings in the WBC. Um, so it. It means a lot. Any actually, any title that I win means a lot to me because that's what I'm in the game for. I'm, I'm here to to win, win titles, and uh, to make money. And to win, if you make, if the more titles you win, the more money you make. So yeah, that, that. some people didn't um, comprehend that the boxers need to do money because the career of the boxer it's like 20 years. Uh, no, like a doctor, he's is 60, 15 years. With Julio Cesar Martinez, you fight uh, last February. What do you think about that fight? Do you think it's a good fight? Do you want a rematch? Or what do you want? Uh, yeah, the, the fight was very good fight. It was very entertaining for the fans. Um, I think... Honestly, with the knockdown, I think probably the 115-113 scorecard was probably about right, if, in my opinion. But um, if the rematch was on the cards, I'd 100% take it, and I think it'd be a different story this time, I think. Here in Mexico, uh, the people didn't know you are a hard fight, a hard, hard fight. I interviewed Julio like 15 uh, days uh, back. And he told me, uh, I have too much respect for that, for him. Uh, he told me, sincerely for me, is something new because I didn't know you were a hard, hard fight. And in that fight, you demonstrate. Oh, that's, that, that's uh, lovely coming from him. Um, I, I, to, say, to say that about me is, is really appreciated. But... Um, It was a definitely a hard fight, and I'm, I'm glad it was one of the hardest he's ever fought. Yeah, yeah. What would you like to do after the pandemic? Uh, do you want uh, the rematch, or do you want another fighter, or do you want uh, go to super flyweight? What do you want? There's, there's no chance of me going to super fly. Um, I think... At, Right now, I think we, we're going to get a, a quick fight in, for like maybe an eight-rounder, and then hopefully try and transfer one of the titles again, try and, like, championship level. I don't want to drop that back down now to... Um, I just want to keep keep the momentum going and uh, tra transfer another world title. Jay, thank you very much for your time. Some words uh, do you want to say to the fans here in Mexico and the fans from UK? Oh, just thank you everyone who's uh, been supportive and the Mexican fans um, after the fight they were they were all brilliant and uh, I'd love to fight. Jay, thank you. Si te gustó nuestro contenido, suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube. Y si no te gustó, también no puedes jugar boxeo.